hello everyone so in this video we are going to start a new topic which is dispute management and dispute management deals with the disputes between our company and the customer so let's say we have any dispute over the invoice amount or invoice quality so we are going to create the dispute cases for the customer line items so after that we are going to process those dispute cases and after at the period end we are going to resolve those, those disputes and create the correspondence with the customer so let's say we are going to create what we are going to do in the system for the creation of dispute cases so first of all we are going to create the case types as we have discussed in the promise to pay case type so like that we are going to create different case types for the dispute management cases and system is automatically generate the case IDs for the dispute cases so let's create the case type so for this we are going to SPRO SAP reference IMG so go to financial supply chain management here we have dispute management dispute case processing so we have a case type so like here we have case types so multiple case types are defined already in the system let's say we are going to check out so this is for dispute missing payment so I'm going to use the dispute management so this is the case type so we have multiple other attributes as well which we are going to discuss in the next sessions so these are the dis attribute category reason so now we are going to assign this dispute case type to our company code so for this we are going to process integration and now define the de default values for creation of dispute cases so my company code is 1710 I am going to assign the dispute case type so it is already defined so after that we are going to define the reason codes so let's say when we are going to define the dispute case system will automatically pick up the reason code for this so we are going to trade discount so invoice error this is the reason code damage goods priority is high save this So now we are going to create the dispute cases. So dispute cases will be created using multiple transactions. So let's create any dispute case from customer line item display. So I'm going to use the open item for the creation of dispute cases. Let's say I'm going to create the dispute case for this invoice. So check out this and create the dispute case. so now I am going to create the dispute case so this is incorrect invoice amount and here we are going to define the reason so damage codes priority is high so processor is user 19 so this is my user I am going to process this person responsible is Hassan so it must be the user so I am going to assign my user here as well so deadline date is so deadline date is 30th May and now we are going to use this so this is the open item for which we are going to create the dispute case so I'm going to define the contact person Hassan and here we can also write anything if we want so save this so now the dispute case is created go to line item and here we can see 
system is going to display a tab for the dispute case so we have already created the dispute case for this so here we have defined the dispute case let's check out we will also see the dispute case for the second line item as well so this is the dispute case for the for this line item now come back so this is this tab is only displayed for the line item for which we have created the dispute case now check out for the first item so system is not uh, displayed the dispute case tab here we can also get the option of create the dispute case so now come back so we have other options as well so we can also create the dispute case from work list processing which we have discussed in the collection management so now create a dispute case from payment clearing so I'm going to create a payment for any line item okay and now I'm going to use the house bank so this is my house bank bank ID is this one account so we are going to use the cash management account so let's find from FI12 the account FI12 go to my company code 1710 So go to house banks this is my house bank we have account IDs as well this is the general ledger account so go to FS00 find the general ledger account for this so cash payment so I'm going to use this account count this amount is 10 so I'm going to create okay 10 is fine account so this is outgoing payment sorry so we are going to do the incoming payment so go to accounting financial accounting account receivable and here we have document entry so I am going to post the post incoming payment F-28 so company code this one and ok fine 10 customer is 2022 process open items so here we can also create the dispute cases like I'm going to select any this so I'm going to receive the payment of $10 but the line line item is for $123 so for the remaining amount system is going to create the dispute case so here we are going to create the dispute case okay remaining amount and reason code here and processor person responsible okay okay and now we are going to overview and simulate this So now the system will automatically create the dispute case. So this is also the way for the creation of dispute case. So for one one thirteen. So here the system create the dispute case for one one three dollars. So this is how we can also create the dispute case. So now
now come here so there is an another way for the creation of dispute case so let's check out accounting financial supply chain management dispute case dispute management okay so here we can see that here we can find the dispute cases legal hold legal hold management I'm going to check out for the dispute cases okay so this is for contract accounts so let's find check out if the system is going to display so I'm not going to use the contract accounting so SAP dispute management okay this is the RMS ID and my dispute cases so system will display the dispute cases which we have created so I have created these two dispute cases where we, I assigned my user ID that's why system is going to displaying this we can also dis, uh, create the dispute cases from here so this I'm going to use this case type and after that we are going to assign the line item for the customer let's say I'm going to create the dispute case and test one and reason here we are going to define the reason damage goods okay and what I'm going to assign this 30th May so now I'm going to assign the items add open items so the customer is 0 to 22 come back so we have to create assign the open items here we are going to find the list add open items assign customer so this is the customer So system created the dispute ID and now I'm going to check out I'm going to assign the open items so here it will take to this screen so now we have we have only assigned the customer here we are going to assign the open items as well here we are getting the option okay go to change mode uh, we can see that and we are going to check out so this was all so that is okay so here we can also only assign the dispute items so this is all about the dispute management how we are going to create the dispute cases so all the other attributes we are going to see in the next video how we are going to close the dispute cases and how we are going to process these dispute cases 
we can have multiple results as well so either the customer is going to accept that uh, we have wrongly made the complaint or we can also uh, going to accept that uh, sorry from our, our side there may be the mistake of increased price and uh, maybe our uh, sales department have not seen the uh, amount which was agreed uh, in our contract so this is all about the dispute management how we are going to process this so thank you for watching this video